y'all, I don't ever hit pan on nothing. As much makeup as I have, I was wearing this every single day. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today I am doing my Sephora recommendations and also my wish list because we all know the Sephora sale is coming up and if you have been a subscriber on my channel for a while, you know I lose my damn mind every time the sale comes around. So I have grabbed things in my collection that I'm going to recommend because these are products that I love and then I'm going to go through what I have in my cart, which is my current wish list. It changes. Stuff gets added, stuff gets taken away. I watch other people's videos and the list just continues to grow. Before we get into this video, if you're new, I hope you decide to join the family by hitting that subscribe button and turning on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. I do lots of hauls, I do tutorials, I do reviews, I do some fitness, wigs, nails, everything related to beauty. But I will not keep you. I have every single thing from fragrance and makeup. I did not include, I have one skincare item. That's it. Um, but yeah, we got a lot of makeup to talk about. So let's jump into this video. So first of all, let's talk about the Sephora sale. If you don't know, I'm not sure how that's possible, but let's talk about it. So the Sephora sale happens twice a year, and I think that's why everybody loses their mind because Sephora does not have a lot of sales. The sale is going to start on October 27th, and it is going to run through November 6th. During that entire time, the Sephora collection is 30% off. The Sephora collection is bomb. I have a video, I'll link it below, where I did a face full of Sephora. They have so many good products, so I always get backups of stuff that I use from that line because it's 30% off. It's already reasonably priced. I'd say a little higher than drug than drugstore prices for some stuff, but with the 30% off, it brings it pretty much close to drugstore prices. Then if you are a Rouge member, you get 20% off and you get to shop first October 27th. If you are a VIB, you get 15% off and you get to start shopping on October 31st. And then if you're an insider, you get 10% off and you also get to start on October 31st. I do kind of feel like if you are just an insider with 10% off, it may not be worth it to shop the sale as much because the brands have bigger sales. So you may want to work, wait till Black Friday. They also have an end of year sale where they do sale on their sale stuff. But just try to think about maximizing your savings as much as you can. The code that's going to be able to be used for the sale is time to save all together. And that's how you're going to get your discount. You can use it in store. You can tell them, you know, whatever your Rouge status is when you're in store to get the discount or you can shop online and you can shop as many times as you want during the sale. So it's not just a one-time use. We're gonna pull things in order of application for myself. This is how I do my makeup. We are gonna start off with primer. These I pulled from my bathroom. So I am currently using these. I went through my collection and I was just like, yeah, you know what? I think I pretty much already know this is going to be an easy one for me. So first, I've been using this literally every single day. This is the LYS Secure Skin Gripping Serum Primer. I don't know if you can tell, but I am down to here on this. So I already am planning on getting another one. I love that this is inexpensive and it works really well. This is my primer I wear to the gym. It is not like waterproof and blurring so much, but it does help to hold my makeup. So I don't feel like everything's gonna slide off my face when I start sweating. Another primer that I had to talk about, and I hope this is in stock. Y'all, this looks so janky and beat up, but literally like the label's gone. That is how much I use this. This stays in my travel bag or I pull it out for special occasions. This is the one size secure the blur makeup magnet primer. I feel like this blurs. I feel like it helps to hold my makeup. And this is what I wear the day I compete if I want everything to stay. 
So if you can get your hands on this, grab it because it is magic. Another blurring primer that I recommend is the Cali Ray So Blown Clean Blurring Primer. This one is also in my travel bag. So if I want the blurring properties, but I don't need as much hold and longevity, I save my one size and I grab this one. This one works really well and I don't feel like it's drying. It almost kind of feels like a moisturizer and it does say it has collagen peptides. This, I can't see through it, but I feel like it's like halfway done. Use it a lot, pretty good price, definitely recommend it. Another primer that I pulled out of my bathroom and I use this, if I'm not using the LYS one, then I use this. This is the KVD Pore Refining Primer. KVD Vegan Beauty, this is the Locket Primer. So this is supposed to be really good to help lock your makeup into place, blurring, all of those good things. I feel like this brand is known for makeup that needs to stay put. So even with them changing to the vegan formula, as I drop that, I still feel like it works really well and it's, it's a must. Like this is probably about halfway done as well. This primer is a little more on the expensive side, but it's magic. This is the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Primer. I'm pretty sure I did a review of this. I think so, but I got this during the last sale it's pricey, so you definitely want to try to get it while you can get a discount. But this is also blurring. It says airbrush. It helps your makeup stay into place. If you have textured skin or feel like your pores are big, I always recommend with these types of products to just press them into the skin versus smearing them because that helps to fill in the pores and the lines. So if you're looking for something else that is going to help blur and you want to splurge a little bit, you can't go wrong with this one. Another primer that I think I've used this recently in a video, but again, <laughs> I'm not sure. I've been trying to catch up on filming a lot lately. This is the Iconic London Underglow Blurring Primer. If you want something that is gonna give you that lit from within look, but also help with blurring, this one is it. I don't feel like this one is as great in terms of the longevity and keeping my makeup in place. But if you just want like a date night looking flawless and you're just going to be sitting, not really moving around and sweating and all that stuff, I think this is beautiful. It looks so good in pictures and I feel like this is pretty fairly priced. So even still, you're going to get your discount. I think it's worth it. You have to try it. Last primer I'm going to recommend. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Face Primer. I love Urban Decay All Nighter line in general. I love the setting spray. I have so many bottles of that. And when this primer came out, I was like, yep, gotta try that too. This is actually a gripping primer, but it says it preps, smooths, and perfects. So it's kind of like an all-in-one. I would say, because Urban Decay has a lot of sales, if you wanna wait for Black Friday and the brand sales, because sometimes they're more of a discount, then Sephora you can, but if you're like me and you want the ease of being able to return something to the store or just shop everything in one place, Sephora is where you're gonna get it. So if you're looking for a primer that's kind of an all-in-one, your makeup's gonna stay, it's gonna blur, do all the things, this is it. So next we're gonna move into foundations. I have four, five that I have been loving and rotating and I felt like I gotta tell y'all about these. First, House Labs. This is their Triclone Skin Tech Foundation. When this first came out, I wasn't gonna get it, but then the more reviews I watched, I was just like, mm, let me go ahead and try it. Absolutely love it. I am in the shade. 450 medium deep warm this actually I believe in the description says it kind of has a rosy undertone I don't know but I feel like this is a really good match for me and I love this foundation it wears well it looks beautiful on the skin and I think it's made for all skin types but I always feel like you can adjust your primer or you can add powder or do something different with your skincare if you have dry skin do a heavier moisturizer I feel like you can make any foundation work if you prep your skin correctly. So don't let the recommendations for skin type stop you from trying something if you really want to try it or you think you're going to like it. This next foundation is a little pricey, but it is so good. This is the Givenchy Prism Libre Skin Caring Matte Foundation. 
I am in the shade 6N405 on this one. And I got this one, of course, during one of the sales, but I went in, swatched it, made sure it was a good match. Also a really good foundation match for me. Not too dark like I, no <laughs> like I normally do, but I just love the finish of this one as well. Long wearing, I tend to gravitate towards matte foundations because those are longer wearing. So you can't go wrong with this one. I also tend to shop this sale and get the more luxury items because the other stuff you can get, you know, at, from the brands and it sometimes is more of a discount, like I said before, but like these brands, they don't have sales. So look at the luxury stuff. If there's something that you've been thinking about and you can afford it, go ahead and get it now. Speaking of luxury, this right here, this is the Tom Ford traceless foundation stick this looks so good on the skin i do feel like it's not as long wearing as the others i've mentioned so far but when you uh, the initial application and wear even wearing it long term it looks good but this isn't like a wear to the gym i'm gonna be sweating and it's too damn expensive to do that anyway if you want to try tom ford like i said luxury brand get it when you can on a discount I am fortunate enough to have a CCO that sells Tom Ford, so I'm able to get my stuff at 50% off, sometimes more. But if you don't have access to that, get it while you can with your discount at Sephora. Another foundation that is a little pricey, but I feel like it is also very worth it. This is the Very Valentino Light Lasting Perfecting Foundation. I didn't tell you, my shade for Tom Ford is 9.7 cool dusk i'm always bad at saying that um i am in the shade dn2 in the valentino foundation again this was just one that i felt like okay the sale's happening i want to try it another good shade match for me and i love the finish of this i feel like it's something about these high-end foundations that when you put them on you don't have to do a lot to build up the coverage. They apply evenly and they just sit so nice on the skin and they look like skin. So that's kind of why I tend to gravitate towards grabbing these during the sale because I don't want to pay full price, but I do think they are worth the splurge. Last foundation recommendation. I have to bring this one back up again. This is the LYS triple fix serum foundation this was in the bathroom so this has been getting worn i pull this out during the cooler months it's a serum foundation so it's not as matte it's not going to be as long wearing but it looks so good on the skin i'm all about blurring and just like today you know skin looks really good today what am i wearing today what did i put on I put on, actually, I pulled out my Shiseido Synchro Skin for some reason. That's what I have on my face today. But I've been wearing this one a lot to work just because it's more chill, laid back, don't have to worry about doing too much and stuff moving around, and it just looks good. Every time I go to the bathroom, I'm like, we're having a good makeup day today, and it looks like skin as well. I didn't pull this one out, but the Sephora Best Skin Ever Foundation, I did that in my Sephora video as well. That is another good foundation. And to get that one at 30% off, I think it's great for every day. It has great coverage, it wears well, and it's another one that looks like skin. I thought about that one because the concealer, pulled this out the bathroom. This is my everyday concealer. This is in the shade 35N, it's not too bright. I can dab this on without wearing any makeup and it'll just help hide my under eye circles and discoloration and make me look a little more rested. But I love the finish of this. I set every concealer with powder. I have never found a concealer that does not crease. I don't care what the claims say. If you have wrinkles under your eyes, this stuff's gonna settle into those lines. So I always set this, but I feel like when I set this one, I don't have to bake. I can just lightly dust powder under my eye and I'm good to go. So 30% off definitely check this one out. A pricey concealer, but again, I think it's worth it. Also from Givenchy, this is the Prism Libre Skin Caring Concealer. Love the finish of this one as well. This one is in the shade N385. I did pick this one up during the last sale and I love it. This was also in the bathroom. I just kind of grab depending on 
if I'm looking for a certain coverage or if I'm looking for a certain shade, there's no rhyme or reason for what I decide to use for that day. So if you want to try a high-end concealer, I definitely think this is one that you should put in your cart. This next concealer has taken the beauty community by storm. This is the Natasha Denona, where is the name? High Glam Concealer. I picked mine up in the shade NY12. This is so good. Like everything you've heard, everything you've read, all the claims are facts, 100%. Absolutely love this. This is one of my go-to for special occasions or want to look glam, making sure everything is just going to look beat. I don't use this for every day. I just feel like it's really full coverage. You don't need a lot of it. If you use too much, it can not look good. So start off with a little bit, blend it out, and then add more where you need to. But have to recommend this because I'm sure it's in everybody's recommendations. Another concealer, I fell in love with this when it came out. This is the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Luminous Matte Concealer. I picked mine up in Crumble 71N, another shade that is not too bright so I can wear this and not have to worry about my under eyes looking crazy. But the coverage on this, at first I was like, what do they mean luminous matte? I don't even understand. It does exactly that. Like it looks like you have, it doesn't look like a sheen or like a highlighter, but you don't look dry, but it's matte. So it stays. I don't understand how they made the formula work that way, but I remember saying when I reviewed it, I see the luminosity, I see the matte, I get it now. So if you want to try out a concealer that is going to give you full coverage, filtered under eye, cheek area, this is the one for you. We're gonna move now into setting powders because as soon as I put concealer, we have to set that. LYS again, I have this one in the pressed and I had to recommend it because this I had to pull out my travel bag. This is their Triple Fix Translucent Setting Powder. This powder is really good. It is a light, slightly yellow powder, but it blurs, it brightens, you can lightly dust it. I like having a pressed version in my travel bag because sometimes the loose powders can get messy and I really just want something quick and on the go. But you can also use this with a puff and rub in that and bake with it as well. I just feel like it's a lot cleaner to be able to use this. But this powder, I remember when I first tried it, I was like, I don't get it. It's so smooth and finely milled, but it's in a pressed form and it's really inexpensive. So with the discount, you can't go wrong. This next one is an oldie but a goodie. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. Now, I have this and I have about a half a container left or so. And I know I have this much left, but do I have the honey one? I might. I want to try the new one that they came out with last year that's supposed to be more blurring. But I feel like I already have two of these. So part of me is like, Barbara, you don't need to buy another one. But the makeup enthusiast in me is like, but you need to try the new things. So I'm going to recommend this. The old formula is great. I have not tried the new formula, but I've heard it has great reviews. So you choose which one you want to get. I have the new one on my wish list. Next, got to go back to one size beauty. If you want makeup that is not going anywhere, going to last all day, going to stay matte, Patrick knew what he was doing with his makeup line and wearing drag makeup like they put it on and it always looks flawless, heavy duty. And he made that for us. So this is in the translucent shade. I tend to gravitate towards translucent. I have been leaning back in to banana powders with a little bit of yellow in them. But for the mo most part, I do translucent. This, if you have pores, lines, anything that you need to stay matte and disappear, everybody has talked about how great this is. There are different shades. He has a pink one, has a yellow, has a deeper one. So you will find what you need. Another setting powder that is along the lines of the same exact thing. This is the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. I have mine in the shade Blondie, which is slightly yellow. 
And same thing, Huda is known for faux filter, everything looking flawless. So this powder is absolutely amazing. They do now have pressed versions. This one is matte and the pressed versions are supposed to be a demi matte. I do think I want to try one just because like I said, I like having a pressed powder option. So that is on my wish list. I'm not sure which shade I want. I kind of want to try a pink powder. I have seen women of color using it and I kind of just, again, the makeup enthusiast in me wants to know what the hype is. So I'm thinking about picking it up in the pressed version in the pink version just to see how it looks. But y'all comment and let me know, have you tried it? What do you think about it? As far as face powders go, I only have one recommendation because honestly, I have not been using a lot of face powders. The only time I do is when I'm trying to either adjust the tone or the shade of my foundation, or if I'm worried about my foundation being not long wearing enough, I guess, if I'm worried about stuff sliding around and I just really want to add some coverage or make sure it stays matte but I have to recommend the Sephora Micro Smooth Powders. I have so many of these in different shades. This one is light. I've used to set this area here. It reminds me of the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish, but fraction of the cost and 30% off. You cannot go wrong, and there are a lot of different shades of this. So you can get one to bronze, you can get one to set your under eye, or you can use it all over your face, but this powder is so good. I don't know how I miss these because they are literally right in my face. I don't know if you want to call this a primer or a foundation or what, but <laughs> the Danessa Myricks Blurring Yummy Skin, what are these things called? Blurring Balm Powder. I have three shades. I have eight and a half, which is a neutral. It was one of the newer shades that she released. I also have nine, which is my perfect everyday summer shade. This is eight and a half. It's a little too neutral, so sometimes I mix it with nine. But nine, like y'all, I don't ever hit pan on nothing. As much makeup as I have, I was wearing this every single day. It dries down to a powder. It stays matte. You can wear it as a primer. I also have the universal one just because I wanted to see. And this has a little dent in it. Like, I cannot get enough of these at all. And I have a backup of nine. <laughs> so I'm definitely not buying any more of these. But I wear this every day. I would wear the universal one even when I'm not wearing makeup. If I just want to smooth out my skin a little bit and help control the oil. So, yeah which one you want. You want universal, you want your skin tone, you want to contour, you want what? Because she has it all. You have to try those. I feel like I need to talk fast because we're going to be here all day. So after I set, I contour. So let's talk about these. Number one, Rare Beauty Warm Wishes Effortless Bronzer Stick. This is in the shade On the Horizon. I picked this up during the last sale. She is deep, but I love these because they're not too creamy. So I feel like when I put it down, it stays where I put it, but I can just blend it a little bit and it doesn't go all over my face. I love the price point of Rare Beauty. I feel like I have quite a few things in this recommendations video from them. The products are good and they're affordable and you get them on sale. Another somewhat affordable on the lower end side of the stuff at Sephora LYS bronzer stick. I have mine in the shade strength, but I am planning on getting the next shade down because I have to be so careful with this one, how dark it is, like literally a couple dots on my skin and then be careful because it gets so dark. This one I feel like is a little creamier than the Rare Beauty one. But I really just want to see how much easier it is to use in a shade that I can work with easier. Right now, I feel like this one is a little difficult just because it's too dark. But when I take my time and I get it right, it is absolutely beautiful. Another bronzer that I think you absolutely need to try. This was in my bathroom. One size again. This brand just does it for me. I love this because it has three different shades in one compact. So perfect to travel with. 
This is my everyday shade. I also throw it in my crease and it is the perfect transition shade. This one is a little bit deeper, gives a little more warmth because it's red. But this shade right here, I was like, I'm never going to use that. I use it. I use it to contour because it is cooler, like that gray undertone. But if I also want to deepen up my outer V, I was like, I don't understand. This isn't going to do anything. And then I tried it one day and it does. So this one is in the dark trio. I started to get a lighter one, but I feel like this one's perfect for me. So you just have to have a lighter hand with the darker shades, but love the formula and it stays in place. Another bronzer, if you want to splurge a little bit, hoo -hoo, Charlotte Tilbury. This is the airbrush bronzer in shade number four, Deep. I was so glad they came out with deeper shades for us because I was like, I want to know what the hype is about. I want to use this too. Airbrush, flawless finish, absolutely yes. Just helps everything come together. I like to use a bronzer, powder bronzer on top of my cream bronzers just to help everything set and it also just helps bring everything together so that one is definitely one of my favorites i do also want to recommend the sephora bronzer i use this in my video as well and i think for a while they did not have shades deep enough and then they expanded and this one is in number six ibiza and i think it is a gorgeous shade it's not too warm so I can use this to contour a little bit, but if I just want to add a little bit of color to my face, this is pretty enough that I can wear it kind of as a blush. Like I think it's just a great all-in-one and again, 30% off. We are now going to move into blush. I feel like I have so many, but I can't, I'm not putting them back. <laughs> of course, I had to talk about the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin. What are these called? Okay, these are the Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder Flushed. I have the shade Jubilee and the shade Golden Hour. Golden Hour was what I got first. I don't love how when I use this, like my foundation kind of goes in it, but it doesn't mess up the formula or anything like that. Again, this dries down to a powder, long wearing, very pigmented. You can wear it at, on your lips. This is Jubilee. And initially I was like, this isn't going to do anything for me, but if I'm looking for just the lightest flush of color, I love blush. I'm not going to not wear blush. Like I don't care how little makeup I put on, there's going to be some blush. And I feel like this one is perfect for not really wearing makeup, just some concealer, maybe some spot concealing on my dark spots. I'm going to throw on some blush and it's going to be this one. Another blush that actually kind of surprised me how much I love it. This is the Benefit, what are these called? Rosy Mocha Blush, is that what the name of it? Yeah, Rosy Mocha Blush, I think, or that's the color of this, I don't know. These little blushes. <laughs> I got mine in the shade Java. This is what I'm wearing today. This is the perfect in-between for bronzer and blush. I can get away with wearing just this as a bronzer or I can put it as a blush. The shade is perfect for me, but I love the finish of this and I think it wears so well. It is a very, it's a matte formula, but I feel like it's powdery. So you have to be careful when you pick it up because a lot gets on your brush, but I think it blends out well and it's really easy to use. So this is the only one I have of this shade, the only shade of this line. And it was the only shade I really wanted, but I do know they have a lot of different shades to choose from. So you should be able to find one you love. I also have to recommend the House Lab blushes. I picked up, what is this, Watermelon Bliss? Yes, Watermelon Bliss. This is so pigmented. I tried to get away with putting this on without having makeup on. No, ma'am, you cannot <laughs> because you look like a clown. But with makeup on, I think this shade is so gorgeous. It's a slightly pink red, and I feel like it's different from anything else I have in my collection. I am tempted to get more shades, but I know I don't need that. I know I don't. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. But you have to try it. Really great formula. Smooth, pigmented. You will love it. <laughs> Are we surprised? One size. This is their Blush Cheek Clapper Blush Trio. I love this because it has three formulas. I want to get the most bang for my buck. So... 
three formulas. There's a cream, there's a powder, and then there is also another powder that has a sheen to it. This is Red, Rich Betch. This is my favorite one. I also have Firestarter, I think is the name of it, the orange one, but this one is my everyday. I can get away with the cream by itself. I can amp it up with the powder on top. And then if you want to dust a little sheen on it, slightly like a blush topper or even maybe a little bit of a highlight, this is it right here. I love his products. I can't lie. That's going to always be in my favorites or recommendations. I do also want to recommend the Sephora blush. I picked up Tiger Lily in their blush duo. I think that's what it's called. Yes. Matte Perfection blush duo. I just swirl this together. I don't try to like get on one side. I do, if I do, I normally use this side, but I think this is like the perfect burnt orange kind of flush of color. Look like you got sunburnt a little bit. They do have different colors, but this was just the one that I actually grabbed this one twice. I remember last year I grabbed it, forgot I grabbed it, thought it was beautiful and grabbed it again. I brought it back, but gorgeous, 30% off, definitely worth a try. Up next, this was one of my splurges. Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Glow Blush. I keep it in the box because I'm extra, because of how much I spent on it. This is in the shade number 40, Mania. This is such a gorgeous shade. It low-key gives me Watermelon Bliss vibes. No, not quite. This is more pigmented, more punchy, but this one has a different finish. It does have a luminous glow to it. It is just so pretty, and I feel like now is the time to grab it because this is one of the more luxury brands, more expensive. I think it was like 38, 40 bucks. Get it with your discount. <laughs> a few more blushes I have to talk about. LYS Cream Blush absolutely love i think this is the only shade i have but i saw that they came out with a kit that has three and i have that on my wish list i want to get that during the sale but love these i think this was one of the first higher end cream blushes that i got this is in the shade higher standard so it's one of the deeper ones but i always love just how these make you get it gives the skin like finish not as powdery, so it's not matte, and it just looks like you have a little flush. You've been running, it's cold, whatever. Like, good color to the cheeks. That makes you look young and youthful. Blush, blush, I'm getting too excited. Blush is a must for me in my makeup routine because I feel like it just ties everything together. So, two more liquids. Rare Beauty, of course, everybody's always talked about these, how pigmented they are, how beautiful they are. I have the shade Love, and I also have another. I didn't pull it. I think it's Virtue. I have one of the luminous ones, the dewy ones. So beautiful on the skin. But this one took me by surprise. This is the Say Beauty Dew Blush in the shade Spicy. If I could wear this as a lipstick, I would. I love the shade of this. This is that terracotta perfect oh my god it is so good i haven't swatched anything else but this like i want to put this on my lips this color is so gorgeous and like the perfect brown red for our skin tone if you're my skin tone you want to try a liquid blush please get this one you will not regret it i promise let's talk about highlighters next because that's what i put on after i put my blush on same color, you got your powder, you got your liquid. This is Rare Beauty Flaunt. This is the Positive Light Silky Touch Highlighter. These were sold out for so long and I understand why. Absolutely, listen. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. Lit from within, look at that. I love the shade of this. Yes, I had highlighter on. I don't feel like this makes your texture look bad like it's just perfect perfect formula you can build it up to where it's going to be blinging or you can wear it more subdued like this of course if you want a liquid version absolutely gorgeous i watched mena i don't want to say her last name mina mena i don't want to say her name wrong but i've watched her channel and she always talks about and uses this religiously so i was like okay i'm gonna bite the bullet and i understand why few little dots, blend it out, lit from within, your skin is glowing. 
I picked this up during the last sale, finally got my hands on it, and I was just like, I've been sleeping. This is the Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette in 002 Glitz. I wore some of the embossing off of this. I use every single shade in here. This one's probably my favorite for every day. This is more of like a topper. This is I want to be glam. This is I want to be extra. Like I wear every single one of these. Formula is amazing. It is absolutely beautiful and just makes you look radiant. The next thing I do in my makeup application is my eyebrows because if I put highlighter up here, I do my eyebrows after. I've done them first and then done that and messed up my eyebrows. So I don't have a lot for brows. I have my tried and true. This is my Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. I do like the brow pencils that have the bigger triangle because I just brush, 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 fill in, fill in, draw the tail, go about my business. And this formula lasts, it's waterproof, it says all those good things, so can't go wrong with that. But I found a new one, and I'm surprised I love it as much as I do. This is what I have on today. This is the Too Faced Super Fine Brow Detailer. This is both of these, well, this one's in four and a half, but I also use five. And then this is in dark brown. This one is small, but it's not tea tiny. I'm sure, I don't think this is gonna show up. It is like one side's kind of wide and then one side's a little more narrow. So I turn it narrow when I wanna get the front hairs here. And then I just kind of use it on the side when I'm filling in this area here. And I just feel like it helps me to make it look more like the hair-like strokes but also is dark enough and precise enough to do my tail. So if I want less of a bushy brow, I will use this one. And I'm surprised I love it as much as I do. I skipped eyeshadow somehow. I don't know who I am to be skipping eyeshadow because y'all know that is my favorite thing. Eyeshadow sometimes I do before foundation, sometimes I do after. It just depends on what I'm doing. But I have... I don't have a lot of palettes to recommend because honestly I have so many that I love. I wanted to stick with something that I felt like was everyday basic that you're going to get a lot of use out of because it needs to be worth the money. I had to go with Natasha Denona. I just got the I Need a Nude palette. I absolutely love it. That's what I'm wearing on my eyes today. And at first I was like, this is going to be 15 shades of ashy and why do I need it? And it is not like... Complete look is done. I have this in my transition shade. I have this on the outer V. I have, where's the shade at? Glisten. Sheen. This one on the inner part. I put a little bit of this on the outer part. Like I said, this is in the V and then I went inner corner. Did I use Mila? I did. I used this one here for my inner corner. So I just went all over the palette with this and I'm surprised how much I love this. If you are a darker skin tone and you think this one's too light, get the Glam palette. I feel like it is a little warmer, but there are, I mean, yes, a little warmer, but there are some cool tone shades in here, but this one's deeper. So I feel like you would get more use out of it if you're looking for deeper tones. I love both of these and I feel like they are worth the money. And so that's why I was like, if I'm going to recommend anything, of course I could say, get a Pat McGrath palette. You can also get those on Pat McGrath's website for 30% off a lot of times. Um, of course, I love Melt. I love so many different brands. I know a lot of people have recommended the Makeup by Mario palettes. I just, I, it doesn't appeal to me. Maybe if I see it in store, but there's nothing about it that's just screaming to me, I need to get it because I love these. So these are my high-end nude palettes that I absolutely love. Now, if you want to have some fun and add a little bit of color, but also still have nudes, I saw this palette and I knew I had to get it. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cosmos palette. Y'all, if you want just your neutrals right here, and I love that they did this. A lot of people were complaining, like, why would you put those neutrals in there? That doesn't even make sense. But I don't care what I'm putting on my lid. I always go in with a transition shade. Always. I need that. I always need a shade that's going to deepen it up. So why would you not put that? 
If I want to use this palette and just do an everyday look, I can. But then these gorgeous shades with the multi-chromes, like you can have so much fun with this and really spice it up. So I feel like for the price, this is one of the best palettes that you can get to have your everyday neutrals and some beautiful pops of color. Lashes, y'all know my struggle. If I'm going to recommend a pair, I'm going to go with the Sephora brand, 30% off. This is their Essential False Lash in Swanky. I like this one. It says it's one of their more dramatic ones, but I feel like this was very easy for me to put on and they're wispy and they just look so good on the eye and I feel like it's flattering for all eye shapes. It says it's dramatic volume. I don't know that I feel like it's really dramatic, but I normally go for more of the flared ones, but these are actually longer in the center and I just feel like it helps my eyes look more open. So Check out the Sephora lashes. I think they're great. You can get eight to 10 uses out of these and they're not nearly as expensive as Velour and Lily Lashes and all of those brands. Last but not least, we're gonna go into lips. I'm gonna try to do this fast. I have to. Sephora collection. This, other than the smell, I can't get over and I don't know why. I have so many shades of these and backups. <laughs> These smell literally like chemical and it's God so strong. It smells like a friggin' crayon. I don't understand, but I absolutely love the formula. This is a gel lip liner, so it glides on, but it stays. I love that it's retractable. If it's going to be a recommendation or a favorite for me, nine times out of 10, it's going to be retractable. This one also has a sharpener on the end, but 30% off. You have to try these and I feel like they run out of stock really quickly. So if you can't get it online, try to find one in the store. As I talk about retractable, a pencil that is not that I absolutely fell in love with. And I think it's the design of it too. The Makeup by Mario lip pencil. I love that this has a brush on the end because I'm always using my finger to blend out my lip color. And this just has that and does it for you. I have the shade Jeff, is this Jeff? Yes, and I also have Travis, I believe. But I just feel like the formula of this, it's drier than the gel formula from Sephora collection. But I was gonna say, does this say only six months? No, um, <laughs> I, just, I love the formula of this. It's a gorgeous brown, it stays. I just wish it was retracted. Last but not least, I wish they had more shades in this line, but the Rare Beauty lip pencils are actually really, really good. It's a matte lip liner, so not as creamy as the Sephora one, but also closer to that price range. And I just feel like this one is retractable as well. It wears really well, it's matte, and I don't know, I just, I don't need anything on my lips right now, but I feel like I saw them in the store. This one is in Wise, which I think is the deepest brown shade they had, if I'm not mistaken. Worth the price. I love a lot of stuff from that brand, like I said earlier, so had to recommend this. Lip colors. I'm gonna try to go through this fast. Sephora Collection, these are the Cream Lip Stains. Yes, Cream Lip Stains. I have so many of these. They're inexpensive, 30% off when I was really trying to focus on getting that brown kind of creamy nude. I was like, you know what? Let me go with these because I know I can't fail. They're inexpensive. They wear well. Love the formula of these. They go on like a cream, but they dry down, but they're not drying. So 30% off. So many colors to choose from. Bold colors, purple, blue neutrals, whatever you want, you can get it in this line. I bought two of these during the last sale. This is the Huda Beauty Bossy Browns Power Bullet Cream Glow. This is in the shade Boss Chick. I don't know the last time I bought a bu bullet lipstick, but I saw this in the store and I was like, that is such a gorgeous, rich brown shade. I have to have it. And the finish of it glides on. It is a cream. So it doesn't, like you're good, it's gonna transfer. It's not a matte formula. Like your lips are gonna look hydrated. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I bought this one and I wanna say the other one is Money Maker is the other one that I have, but I couldn't decide so I just bought them both. 
Another lip pencil. I forgot about this one. Natasha Denona I Need a Lude Lip Crayon. This one is in the shade 4.5, which is one of the newer shades. I was surprised at how much I love this. It is not retractable. Boo, because I saw the tip of this and I was like, oh, this is going to come off or it's going to twist. It does neither. But I love this shade. This is a brown, but it's a light brown. So I feel like I can wear this every day with a gloss and it's not going to look too dramatic for my lips. Love the formula. I don't have any other lip products from her. Maybe a gloss. But trying this out makes me want to try her lipstick. So that is on my list of things I want to try. One high-end recommendation that I have to make. This is the Giorgio Armani, I believe. Pretty sure, but these are so small. I got a set that had three lipsticks in it. One was a nude, one was a red, and then one was this deep shade right here. I absolutely love the finish of these, the Lip Maestro. Love the finish of these, and I just feel like when you pull out something that has gorgeous packaging like this, or the Pat McGrath, or the Tom Ford, it's just something about the whole experience, and this formula is amazing. So now's the time to splurge if you wanna do one of the more high-end luxury items. As far as lip glosses go, why is mine not up here? Where is she? The Sephora Plumping Lip Glosses. I have no idea, she might be in my purse. I have mine in 2XL, I believe is the name of it. It's a milky kind of, where is she? A tan shade. Of course, I have to recommend that. Another gloss that I love, Patrick Ta, I have this one. And then I also have the Makeup by Mario. All of the rave right now is plumping glosses. So pretty much you can't go wrong with any of them. I love the Patrick Ta one because I do feel like it gives me a little more plump. This is major volume in two cc's. But you can also get the plumping gloss from Sephora and 30%. So if you don't really care for the high end experience and you just want a plumping gloss, go that route. If you want to branch out and try a different brand, I recommend those two as well. Last but not least, two lip creams, I guess these would both be called. This is the Suede Lip Cream from Makeup by Mario. I tried the first one in Toasty, fell in love with it, went back, and I got another shade. I don't remember the name of the other shade, but I tried this during the last sale, and I thought it was absolutely beautiful, and I had to get it. The other is the Fenty Beauty Fenty Icon Velvet Liquid Lipstick. I got the shade Riri, which is a pink, and then I also just got, is it, oh, I'm seeing the name of it. It's not Toasty. I cannot remember the name of it, but I just recently ordered it because I found a shade that was more of a tan, not a tan, but like a brown nude instead of my normal pinky nudes. I cannot think of the name of it. I'll put it on the screen, but love the formula of these as well. So had to recommend those. Last but not least, one skincare, two fragrances. Polish Choice Exfoliate. This is their 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. This works magic. I had something going on with my skin for a little while where I was just getting little clogged pores. Pulled this out and this is also in my cart to get a backup because I don't have another one. Love this. It works fast, does not irritate your skin and helps to unclog your pores. So if you're having issues with texture, fine lines, any of that, you need to try that. I have two fragrances. This first one, oh, this is my date night, wanna smell sexy, cannot go wrong. YSL Mall, oh my God. I just looked this up the other day. YSL Mall Perry. <laughs> I'm like, I know I just looked at this. This is the intense version. This smells so good. It is classified as a fruity floral, but it has a white musk base. And that base is what puts me over the edge because I love a warm floral and that gives the warmth to this, but this smells so good. I did like, it almost, does this beat my, my Burberry blush is one of my all time favorites. And I feel like we're going back and forth right now between those two because Everyday, no-brainer, you want to smell sexy, you want to smell expensive, this is it. 
a pleasant surprise of mine. I have the purse version <laughs> and then I went back and got this Kaoli Yummy Yum Pistachio Gelato. My first Kaoli fragrance. I do want to try, I think it's the Wedding Centel. They need to put these in the stores because I need to smell them. They're too expensive to blind buy. This smells so good. I sprayed like two sprays of this the other day when I was, I changed clothes at the gym and I was leaving. Two sprays of this and somebody was like, you didn't even work out. You smell so good. I did work out, but that's how strong it is. Lasts all day. It just smells amazing. And I'm not normally into like sweet scents, but this one just does it for me. And I have one in my purse <laughs> and this big one. So I'm not going to leave the house without it if that's what I want to smell like. So that is, oh no, setting sprays. One and two. Finish the face with these. If you cannot get this because this has been sold out forever, I swear to God, if it comes back in, I'm going to try to hurry up and grab me one. One size, what's the name of this? On Till Dawn Mattifying Waterproof, ain't no lie. This is in my makeup bag because meat day, my face don't move at all. If you can't get that, this Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray, Party All Day, Stay All Night, this one is good too. So either way, you cannot go wrong. I'm going to try to go through my wish list real quick. <laughs> I have 23 things in my cart. First, um, this is a maybe. I just recently tried Glamnetic Press on nails. With their nail glue, my nails lasted setting up for a meet, put them on, and they lasted for over a week with my training and everything. The length of these in Maple Glaze is perfect, and I feel it's their short almond, perfect length, perfect shape, didn't have to cut them, and I could work out with them. So thinking about getting that pair, the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder that I said in the pressed version that is also in my cart, I plan on picking up the Makeup by Mario Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum. I want the Mauve Glow one. It's a gorgeous kind of brown, mauve -y shade, so I think it's perfect for every day. I am tempted to get the Glossier Stretch Fluid Foundation. I just, I've heard so many good reviews, it's making me wanna try it, and it's not expensive, it's $34, so that's kinda making me feel like, why not? But I have so many foundations already that I'm kinda like, why? The hype is getting to me, and I'm probably gonna get it, if I'm honest. <laughs> but yeah, I've heard a lot of good reviews from people with oily skin and dry skin, so I just wanna try it. I do want to pick up a House Labs by Lady Gaga highlighter and I want the shade Sunstone. So that is in my cart. This is in my cart, but I don't know if I'm going to get it. I'm not going to get it. See, I'm doing myself a good service right now. Rare Beauty has a mini blush and glow four piece set and I want to get it because it has all shades that I don't have in the highlighters and the blush but I already have two blushes and I have a highlighter, so I really don't need this. I'm gonna take that out of my cart. But when I'm not taking out my cart, I wanna try one of the Charlotte Tilbury highlighter wands and blushes. So the wand highlighter is Spotlight, and then the blush that I have is Dream Pop, which is one of their matte ones. I also have Makeup by Mario Awakening Concealer. I went in, swatched them. The shade 420 is gonna be best for me. I do wanna try that. I also have, I have this in my cart, but I don't know if I'm gonna get it. Dominique Cosmetics, her Essential Eye Shadow Palette. I feel like it is such a gorgeous everyday palette. I know I don't need it, but I kinda just want it. And I'm like, it's a sale. Why are you not buying an eyeshadow palette when that's your thing? So going back and forth on that, I do want to get, because I don't think, I need to check my stash. I don't think I was able to get any of the Rare Beauty Concealer Brushes last sale, and I was pissed about that. So I'm going to try to get one this sale. And then Lady Gaga House Labs also has a concealer brush that I think I'm going to try, but it's $28. I don't know about that. It's in my cart, though. The Milk Makeup Pore Eclipse Matte Translucent Powder. I'm getting that in translucent medium. I'm also going to try out the House Labs Triclone Hydrating and Depuffing Concealer. I've never heard a concealer say it's going to depuff, only like an eye cream. So definitely intrigued by that. 
I don't know if I'm going to get this or not. I have a Patrick Ta blush duo already, but the new shade that came out, She's Baked, is so gorgeous that it's in my cart. I don't know. Of course, I also have to have a perfume sampler. I buy these every sale because that's the best way to get a perfume. These are $85 and there are samples and then you have a coupon to go in and redeem for a full size of whichever one you like. So this one has quite a few in it. Um, the ones that I'm looking at, it has Burberry Her, um, Fleur Missing Person, which I like, but it's just not strong enough. And the Prada Paradox, that's the one that I'm really thinking I'm gonna end up getting. But so this also has Carolyn Herrera. What is her name? Lord, get it right. Carolyn Herrera. Yeah, good girl. I have not smelled any of those. So get the set. It's $85, 20% off, and then you get to turn it in for a full size version. So I just feel like you have to try that. And then I also have a House Labs bronzer, deep level 10 in my cart that I think I'm going to get. I'm not sure. What else? The Amico Lay brand, I want to try. It's a black owned brand, fairly inexpensive. I haven't tried any of their stuff. I had the lip oil in my cart and then I also have their setting powder. And then I think that's it. I know I'm gonna add more stuff as this sale goes on and I keep watching videos, but that's on my wish list for right now. That is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me till the end of it. Comment below, let me know, are you shopping? What are you picking up? If you're not shopping, tell me why. I love hearing from you. If you're new, I hope you decided to join the family by hitting that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I know that I